Hey guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 17 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp video series. In this video, we'll be talking about build trigger with Jenkins 2.0. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 16 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Build trigger with Jenkins. Build triggers in Jenkins let us start a job once any specified event occurs. So here I'm saying any specified event occurs. So this event is actually nothing but the build triggers that I have specified in the screenshot below. So this is the screenshot which I have taken from one of our freestyle or pipeline job. And you can see that within this particular build trigger, we have so many options or events like trigger build remotely example from a script and then build on a NuGet update. So if there is any update in the NuGet package, then you can trigger a build or build after other projects are built. Build periodically, GitHub hook trigger for Git SEM polling and polling SEM. So all these are self-explanatory here. So I don't really have to explain anything here. But as you can see that we can do a build trigger for our Jenkins job so that it can automatically execute and build our project, run the test or deploy the application in one of the remote machine once any one of the specified event occurs, right? So let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Jenkins. So in our previous videos, we were working on the .NET freestyle project, right? And then we also worked on .NET pipeline project. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the .NET pipeline project once again here. And what I'm going to do basically is I am going to do a configuration for setting a build trigger. So as you can see, there are so many build triggers here, like build on any new updates after the project are built periodically, GitHub, policy, M, quiet period, and then trigger build remotely. So right now, what I'm going to do is for the demonstration purpose, I am going to show you the build periodically options where you can periodically execute a build after a certain point of time, right? So what I'm going to do is like, I'm just going to schedule a time here. But if you are really not aware of the syntax, the very best option here to get the syntax of what to specify in the schedule is to click this help option. You can see that the help option is very handy for us because it says that this is the minute, this is the hour, this is the date of month and uh, month and date of the uh, week, something like that, right? So you can specify all of them over here. And if you specify star, then which means it is all the valid values. And if you specify M to N, is specifying the range of values. And if you specify A, B to Z, it enumerates multiple values. And there are some examples also available here in the documentation below. And you can use that. I mean, it's up to you, like how you want to use it. For example, if you want to execute every 10 minutes, then you can just specify this option. You can just copy this and you can paste it over here. That's it, you're good to go. So it says that would last have run at Sunday, February 18, 2017, 10.25. So it is something like after 10.25 p.m. SGT, it is going to execute this, uh, this particular build trigger, right? So I'm not really going to do all these things, but for this demonstration purpose, the very simple thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to specify star, 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 star. So what does it mean? It is going to execute after every minute of the, uh, of the specified event. Right. So now if I just specify this and if I hit a save here, you can see that the four is the uh, last job run. And if I go to the dashboard, you can see that the build executor will start one of the job within a minute. So you can see that quickly it picked up and it started to run the execution right now. And if I go over here, you can see that currently it is running something over here. So you can see that like for every minute it is going to execute the test for us. You can see that there is a test is also happening. The build is happening. So it is happening for every minute. Actually, it is not advisable to execute each and every minute, but just for demonstration purpose, I'm just showing you like how you can set a build trigger event for your uh, freestyle or pipeline project. So I'm going to quickly go to the configure option once again. And I'm going to disable this for now because it's going to be a bottleneck for my machine. 
uh, because it's going to execute after every minute and so so i'm just going to save it right now and you can see that it, the test is actually happening the test execution is happening right and the build execution is also happening so this is how you can perform a build trigger in jenkins using so simple options right so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day